Welcome to the NRL previews for round four of the 2024 season on the Easter long weekend. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Josh Mansour to unpack all the games this weekend. And we kick off on Thursday night. Mm. Josh, it's a blockbuster encounter between the Roosters and Panthers, but we're going to be without quite a fair, few familiar faces mm. in this one. To the Roosters first though, Josh. Um, They've got a bit of pep in their step yes, after sir. it was a record-breaking win against South last week, and they're one team that can actually brag about having a few players come back into the side as exactly. well too. Kiri and Sam Walker cleared to return. Um, the biggest outs, obviously, for them are Lindsay Collins mm -hmm. and also Sandon Smith. Well, they got all their main positions still in the park, which is really good. Obviously, getting Kiri back is a massive bonus as well, and I'm sure they've got a bit of pep in their step, like you said, um, toppling the rival South Sydney over the weekend, but. This is a big, different kettle of fish. They're coming up against the reigning premiers, uh, Penrith Panthers. No Cleary, um, obviously, but you still can't take the Penrith Panthers likely. Like. Yeah, well, let's jump over to the Panthers now. Injuries continue to cross the board. Uh, Cleary, as you mentioned, hamstring injury, uh, potentially leaving him on the sidelines for four weeks, mm. although we've heard reports he could be back next week. Mm. Uh, add to that, no James Fisher-Harris or Scott Sorensen. Yeah. The depth of the Panthers is going to be tested, but we see a couple of little uh, debutants coming into the side. Maverick guy, another yeah. new, the new MG, uh, <laughs> obviously coming back to the Panthers, which is uh, pretty special. Obviously, the guy family is very... So Anonymous with the Penrith Panthers, so congratulations to Maverick. But yeah, they are losing uh, some big names, like you said, Scott Sorensen. You've got um, Cleary out as well. So Brad Schneider comes in. Uh, he was a handy pickup for the Panthers. He just come over from Hull, ex Canberra Raider. So I haven't seen too much of him um, in the top grade uh, as of yet, but. Again, they've got Jerome Lewis just obviously going to be steering the ship, um, and their back line is obviously second to none. So it is going to be a very juicy matchup, particularly the one to seven. Um, I'm very looking forward to it, but as well, um, James Fisher Harris not laying the platform. It was going to put a bit of pressure on Moses Leota, I think. Where's this game one for this one? As I said, you know, Roosters has sat quite well considering mm. they're coming off a big win and, and players coming back. I think the engine room. Uh, I definitely feel that. Uh, obviously, with Jared Maria Hargraves, you know, he's obviously a very intimidating force up front for the Roosters. Um, coming up against a very young and green Lindsay, um, uh, Lindsay Smith, I should say. It's going to be it's going to be a tough one through the middle. I'm going to, I, it, one thing we do know is Bruce's are going to be knocking down that front door. We saw it against the South Sydney Rabbitohs last week, and it gave the back line a lot of joy and scored a lot of points at the back of it. So, uh, if the forwards can be contained for the Roosters, Penrith can have a chance. Who are you picking? I'm going to put on my uh, thinking hat and uh, I'm going to uh, use my head and I'm going to go with the Roosters. Um, again, I feel like they've just got too much strike power, um, and I feel like as well with Kiri back um, steadying the ship. I'm going to tip the Roosters. All right. Well, Josh, uh, he's called it the Roosters for this one. But tickets for this game are selling out fast. So if you do want to see this match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, though, you can watch it across Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO and kick off is at 8pm. Yeah.